What's up guys? We're out here back with another video. I know it's been a minute since I last uploaded. I've just been a little busy. Anyways, um, this is just going crazy. So you gotta take advantage when it's wet, right? All right, so I came in the car just to avoid any, you know, outside noises. Uh, every time I start to record for some reason, I always end up picking up some random noise. Somebody's doing something outside and the mic picks it up. So to avoid that, I'm just going to go ahead and I might just even start the vlog or the videos inside the car just to avoid all that crap. But yeah, anyways, what I was saying, um, we're going to go ahead and install some window visors um they are the avs brand i'll show it to you guys here in a bit and give you more details on that part of the reason why i had i hadn't installed those uh window visors was because there's this little extra piece and i'll show you guys in a bit that goes over your side mirrors and i didn't like that um i thought it looked kind of ugly and i was gonna go ahead and return them but i never got to it um and I wanted to get some other ones, but I figured, you know, we've had some rain lately. Why not go ahead and throw them on and maybe I can do a little review on them for those that are or maybe want to know how they look uh, before buying them. Because I tried looking them online um, or trying to find some videos of some kind. Maybe some other people have installed them on their Civics. And I did find some, but mainly it was for like the 8th or 9th gen Civics. I didn't find any 5th gen Civics. Um, with it or any other Honda honestly with that brand um, or even visors honestly videos on people installing visors um, just to get an idea of how they would look on the car so I guess hopefully this video helps you out maybe give you an idea of how your vehicle would look like with some visors at least these type of visors just a short little video um, it's not gonna be too long I might do a, a part two of the review test it out bring you guys with me when there's more light you know during the day i got these from uh rockauto.com i believe they're avs brand yep for a 92 95 civic coupe or hatchback i'm, I'm pretty sure for sedan it's it wouldn't work because obviously it's four door and you need more but um yeah so it should be, it says it's supposed to let heat escape cabin when vehicle's parked. Uh, I guess you can crack your windows, you know, without getting some rain in there. Uh, durable and car wash safe, supposedly. I don't know if you guys can see that. Installs in minutes, 3M automotive grade tape, limited lifetime warranty. Um, I've had these for quite a long time, like a long time. First, uh, or other visor, sorry that I've seen, I don't know if you can see, but um, they literally go from here all the way down and then they stop like right here, you know, and then this is where the, the piece starts for the side mirror. And these, these AVS ones are different. They have this little extra edge right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And that piece right there is supposed to go over the plastic. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it goes in like that and that overlaps it. And I didn't like that. To me, it doesn't really look clean. I did notice also that it's got like this little extra little lip right here. Uh, let me get into the light. Well, you know, I got a flashlight on here. This piece right here. It's like an extra piece down here. So I thought that was pretty cool. I just don't like that part right there. It comes with these little alcohol uh, pads, these little prep pads right here. And hopefully they're still good because I got, I mentioned to you guys are earlier, I've got these a long time ago. There's instructions that came with it, but honestly, when I took it out of the box, that shit flew and just my luck right into the oil. You can still kind of see part of the instructions, but I'm just gonna wing it. I mean, it shouldn't be hard, honestly. They just, just slap them on. Uh, 
Um, like I mentioned, if this doesn't work, then I'll get some rubbing alcohol or whatever I have inside. Oh shit, my trim. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it's doing it. Oh well, it's too late now. But yeah, I'm gonna clean this off real quick and then I'll, I'll try to install it. Hopefully I don't fuck it up. I'm gonna peel off. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's one strip here. There's one long strip all along down here. And then there's that strip at the end. I'm gonna peel this off. Both both the, the ones on the end. Stick it on there and then I'll see if I can just peel the center piece. Just to get it aligned. Yeah, this piece overlaps and that's what I don't like. I don't really like how that looks from this angle. I like the ones that kind of either look like they're they're uh, going inside the back of this or just kind of cuts off here and it's like slick, it's thin and then it runs all the way down. But I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I try to get it under as, uh, as even as I could. And I mean, Kind of give you guys an idea of how it kind of turned out. See, so you guys can kind of see it. See if I can go from the back. And like I said, I can go another day and show you guys out in the daylight and see what you guys think about them. And then this is the other side that I haven't put on yet. So this is how it looks like on the other end. So that's how it looks like on the other end with no visor versus, well, yeah, versus this end right here with the visor on. Yeah, that's how it looks like. It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks kind of clean. I just kind of feel now like it's either missing something on the back or, you know, maybe I need to add a aftermarket rear spoiler to kind of go with the side window visor. It's probably what it needs, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set you guys somewhere to the other side and I'll get back to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the window and hopefully it clears. Okay. So it looks like, like it is gonna clear. There's a little bit of a gap there. I was afraid it was gonna hit that piece right here since it, cause from the inside it goes in more. There's like a little indention on there. If you order these, you'll know what I'm talking about. See how it kind of goes outward, outward this way. I thought it was gonna touch the window. Um, I did see a video of a guy install these on a different vehicle and they had that issue where it was touching. But these seem to clear, no problem. 
and from the inside this is how it looks like I'm kind of digging it honestly you can't really see from here uh, the side mirror um, it doesn't really cover that much of the mirror it's just like the very top left corner um, but it's nothing crazy and this is how it looks like on this side so now I'd be able to crack the window at least this much you know I want to say that's about like two or three inches now without it getting any water inside which is pretty cool and that's what I wanted it for well guys I hope you guys liked the video I know it's a little bit on the short side but I mean there's not that much to do honestly once you install these visors um, but yeah thanks for watching um, stay tuned uh, for part two you know that way I can show you guys during the day how it looks like so you guys can get a better idea um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drive it hopefully tomorrow if we get some rain if not you know I'll wait till we get some rain so you guys can go ahead and see how they work um, and wait to see if they work you know uh, I'll go to a drive-through or something and then test it out and see what happens and then this Friday we're actually gonna go to the track again um, hopefully I can get some better footage. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna run the hatchback um, And I also need to raise it up a little bit more just because um, I don't want to end up scraping uh, Since I've had it this low I've already scraped a little bit in the front the plastic from the front and I actually dented my oil pan a little bit which that really hurt and I was going driveway. it wasn't even that steep but I ended up hitting uh, I guess at a weird angle or something and, and it hit and dented the actual oil pan. It's not a bad dent, but I mean it still hurts me, you know, because um, I've never scraped this car or anything like that. So I'm gonna definitely gonna have to raise it up about maybe half an inch or a quarter of an inch at least. And um, yeah, head over to the track. So stay tuned for that video. Um, hopefully um, I can get some better footage than from last time. So I won't be running my hatchback this time. Um, if you haven't seen the video of me running the Civic, um, I'll post it up somewhere here. If not, at the end of the video for you guys to click on it, for you guys to watch. But yeah, stay tuned for more content. And um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribed. And if you already subscribed, you know, hit that like button if you like the video. Uh, it really helps out the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notifications um, and select all videos so you guys can uh, be up to date with all the uploads that I make and you guys don't miss it you know once I upload it you guys will be notified um and yeah see you on the next one take it easy guys bye